Let us now discuss the fifth model from ratio and proportion where the percentage changes in the shares of each of the persons is given and from which we are supposed to get the new ratio. The question here is the ratio of number of students studying in schools A, B and C is 5 is to 6 is to 8. So the ratio of students in three schools A, B, C is 5 is to 6 is to 8. If the number of students studying in each of the schools is increased by 30%, 25% and 25% respectively, what will be the new ratio? So as you can see here, the increment in terms of percentages is given to us and from which we are supposed to get the new ratio. So the original ratio A is to B is to C is equal to 5 is to 6 is to 8. We know that the number of students in school A have increased by 30%. That in school B have increased by 25% and in school C have increased by 25%. So let us add these percentage increments to each of their parts and get the new ratio. Now from this we can say that A has got 5 parts, B has got 6 parts and C has got 8 parts. And the new ratio can be directly obtained as A dash is to B dash is to C dash that should be equal to original 5 parts plus an increment of 30% in these 5 parts is to B's original distribution is 6 parts which has now increased by 25%. So 6 plus 25%. Finally, C's original distribution was 8 parts which has now increased by again 25%. So this can be taken as 8 plus 25%. Remember we are taking plus because each of these have increased. Similarly, if it is given as percentage decrease, then we need to take negative signs accordingly. Now, to simplify this to get the new ratio. We know that 30% of 5 is equal to 1.5. So, 5 plus 1.5 is to, similarly, 6 plus 25% of 6 will be 1.5 is to 8 plus 25% of 8 is equal to 2. So, the new ratio is 6.5 is to 7.5 is to 10. But this is not a proper ratio as we have got decimal parts here. So let us convert this into a proper ratio that is each part in terms of integer by multiplying everything with 2. So 6.5 into 2 gives 13, 7.5 into 2 is 15 and 10 into 2 is 20. So this is the new ratio after the number of students in each of the schools have increased by the given percentages. So the answer here is 13 is to 15 is to 20. One important point which I would like to mention here is that the percentage changes in B and C are same. That is the number of students in B have increased by 25% and that in C also have increased by 25%. Remember whenever the percentage changes are same the ratio will not change. This can be understood from the old and the new ratio. As we can see from the old ratio the ratio of B and C was 6 is to 8 and 6 is to 8 is nothing but 3 is to 4 and after increasing each one of them by 25% we have got the new ratio as 15 is to 20 that is the ratio among B and C is 15 is to 20 and 15 is to 20 is again nothing but 3 is to 4 so as we can see the old ratio and the new ratio are equal. So very clearly whenever the percentage changes are same the ratio will not change.